Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be presenting the Impel Sound Hot B4 mini soundbar which I have it right here. So this is a true review. What it means that uh, I purchased this with my own money. I didn't take money from anyone and uh, I purchased this for my own use. So there will be no affiliated links to make money off you or no nothing. Uh, what you're going to get is totally true and unbiased honest opinions so before i open the box let's go through some of the specs very quickly right here and we'll look at some other specs on the box as well so this one has 2.55 millimeter drivers with two base diaphragms and then a bluetooth 5.0 uh, usb and uh, tf card and 3.5 slot and then 2200 uh, mh battery and uh, each charge should give you 15 hours of use and then 920 gram is the weight which is lightweight so the box just came like this i haven't opened it yet and if you look at it here it says uh, mini soundbar and you'll see the model number which is right here uh, bh374a and here we have uh, some more specs which i also already mentioned but one thing I didn't mention is that the input is 5 volt and then the wireless range should be 66 feet or 20 meter. And uh, basically that's all we have on this side. And let's take a look at this side. So it has large acoustic capacity or sorry cavity. Handy volume control now, uh, 52 ohm speaker and then hands free calling. Now the reason I bought, uh, purchased the soundbar because of you know working from desk uh, sometimes uh, you need to take uh, calls or talk uh, talk to people when you are working. So this gives you the access to hands free calling and then you can you know listen to music or anything you want and because of the knob right here uh, you can just like you know lower the volume if a call uh, comes in. So it should give you some advantages uh, having a soundbar on your uh, desktop or sorry on your uh, workstation and it shouldn't take that much space because of its uh, compact size. So I'll just start opening the soundbar and then we'll look at it from here. So I just wanted to mention that the review is going to be in two parts although you're going to be watching everything in one but you know I'll just open the box and show you what's inside and then after using for a couple of days I'll attach the second part of the video where I'll talk about you know how is the sound quality and uh, what I like or don't like all that stuff so we'll just you know open this right now and we'll take it out okay so the box is empty let me just make sure that you know the box is empty here so as you can see there's nothing there's nothing inside the box so I'll just uh, set it aside here let's see what we have here so we have a membership benefits card I have seen this with other Empire products and it has two-year warranty but you have to activate that within uh, 15 days and then you can have two years warranty but usually you get one year warranty uh, when you purchase something and then if you purchase with a credit card then you get another additional one year warranty but uh, empo is giving two manufacturers uh, warranty uh, just by uh, registering within 15 days and then they have included actually a, a small manual or brochure so here it just you know shows you what how to use and what the specification and some more information uh, I'm not, not gonna go over it but here I just wanted to show you something and looks like that you know it has illustrations on how to connect to Bluetooth and everything so it should be fairly simple if you are stuck with uh, anything you can just you know consult the manual which I'll set it aside and then we have a green card and looks like this is just just an important reminder you know about the battery and other stuff and then touch uh, these are the cables so this is 3.5 cable and then we have uh, USB K 
cable but this is not USB-C this is micro USB which I'll set it aside so now we have our soundbar and let's just you know remove the packaging okay so here how it looks uh, this actually looks better than what I thought in the picture it looks a little bit different uh, it could be that you know uh, the picture showed older model uh, but when I'm looking at it here it looks you know better than what I saw online or on other uh, you know other pictures so this looks very uh, good designing and very you know good looking so you can see that uh, this is where the speakers are so it has like you know 250 2.55 millimeter uh, drivers with two base diaphragms and if you just look very carefully you can see kind of you know the speakers like you know here 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 so but I don't I don't think camera can catch it but I can see it a little bit so this is going to sit on your desk just like this and here are the operational buttons another reason I like this product because of the buttons they are like you know, on top and very easily accessible so you don't have to like you know, search for them so let's look at the button so we have here volume button and then we have here uh, the button to connect it to your uh, phone when you have a call and then uh, these are like you know fast forward uh, buttons and then this is the M button pressing this button just switches the mode from you know USB to Bluetooth to uh, TF card that's what I'm assuming and then let's take a look on the other side so here we have some of the slots I mentioned so here we have the USB and then here we have the TF slot which is micro SD and here is 3.5 millimeter and then here's the power input and on this side uh, there's uh, nothing else so basically on this side you know there's nothing else either and also this huge volume button is you know uh, power on and off button as well so I'm just going to see if there's power remaining okay I see some light here so it looks like you know it has some charge and it's trying to connect to you know Bluetooth are probably looking for input information so I'm going to just you know uh, test some music and then you know we'll uh, do the second part of the review hello everyone I'm back with the device and I have had 24 hours to you know test everything and to try out the sound quality and everything so I can tell you now you know how is the sound quality and what I like and what I do not like so when you connect this uh, via Bluetooth then it looks like you know the connection uh, gives you a much higher sound quality or better sound quality than if you're connecting the device via 3.5 uh, jack so I don't know why is that but uh, you know connecting via Bluetooth gives you a better sound quality so now I'll just you know give you an example of uh, the sound how it sounds like it uh, if I play music so it's not uh, probably the camera is not going to catch you know the sounds that good but still you will have an idea so let's start <laughs> So you'll have an idea uh, the volume is uh, not bad you know it's not too loud but you don't need too loud because you know this is sitting on uh, your desk at your workstation so this is good enough for you know work and uh, when you are at, at the computer so 
this div, uh, button right here which is the M button so this is the button to connect or change uh, you know different settings uh, and to connect it to different uh, input so if you uh, want to like you know you can have actually two uh, different setups for uh, Bluetooth connected and uh, if you want to change between two devices then you have to just press this to connect from one Bluetooth to another Bluetooth device so that's a good feature and then here uh, what I noticed that if you look on the back so this is where actually uh, you can uh, use a USB connection to charge another device uh, and this is the USB input uh, to charge this device and uh, so it's like you know if you're using let's say if you have only one USB output and you're charging this device it doesn't mean that you're wasting that device you can have uh, you know this device to charge other devices so that's a uh, nice feature and uh, in terms of uh, sound quality if you're comparing this with a like you know big soundbar then definitely it's going to disappoint you because this is not going to be same as like you know an expensive or uh, big soundbar so do not expect sound quality that type but in terms of working at your desk or working at home or working at uh, your computer the sound quality is good enough uh, it, it's you know fairly okay uh, the base is not it doesn't have that much bass it just has a little bit and in terms of like you know separating different elements of music it does the job but I wouldn't uh, you know don't expect too much uh, to get like you know crystal clear separation of different elements and everything um, and uh, in terms of stereo you can feel that you know it's stereo but again uh, due to its like you know size and price and everything and definitely you know it's not gonna come you cannot compare this with a big uh... about the call quality so this one actually you can uh, you know make calls or receive calls via Bluetooth uh, using uh, this button and you can use this button to like you know pause the call or continue the call as well I tested both calling in and calling out so I wouldn't recommend using uh, you know this device to uh, for phone calls because the call quality sound is not good uh, you can have the conversation uh, people can hear you but you know it sounds like you know not clear uh, on the other side and you know they would definitely know right away that you know you're using a very uh, you know bad quality or cheap uh, speaker or device to Put through the call so I tested both the, you know calling in and then someone called me and I received the call and it didn't make any difference uh, both call qualities were bad so I wouldn't uh, recommend to use this for a call or to make phone calls or use for calls or any conferencing or anything and uh, the price is very reasonable I paid about uh, $50 Canadian uh, you can probably grab it on sale if you uh, from time to time but you know I noticed that some online stores actually are uh, selling that uh, more uh, prices uh, or at higher prices so just uh, like you know search for a few online stores and grab uh, the one which has or which offered the lowest prices so this is not an affiliated or paid review uh, this is for my own use and I purchased this with my own money and uh, this uh, sits uh, right underneath your monitor or on your desk very nicely it fits uh, anywhere it would fit anywhere because my desk is very uh, small it's not a big desk uh, it's very minimal you know desk uh, setting or workstation setting and it fits there very perfectly uh, which you can see but uh, you know uh, the size shouldn't be any problem and uh, except that uh, I'm happy with the purchase and uh, definitely this is an addition to your workstation setup and you know if you play very soft music or relaxing music when you work definitely is going to help through your work day or cut uh, some stress so uh, that's a good thing so thank you for watching this video uh, I'll put some uh, links uh, below for my other soundbar reviews and other uh, devices review so you can watch them uh, and uh, forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video uh, there'll be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you